who've battled back here and put up some nice runs oh. on the board. You know, we've seen plenty of teams struggle to even get one run against the Rockets this season, let alone the three that they've got. Like I said, we got we got a lot of softball to play yet, and uh, again, that's that's the beauty of this game. You never know what's going to happen. If someone gets hot, someone hits a you know C and I base hit here and there, and uh, breaks the game uh, open either way. So. Well within uh, striking distance here, and again, you got a nice young team that continues to fight uh, every uh, bat, and and uh, again, hustle every every chance they get. You know, gotta gotta give props to that Megan Perry too, the only senior on this newcomers town team, and uh, again, uh, we we've talked before how important that leadership is, and and when you're the only one there, uh, you become a vital part of that team, and. The way you watch these underclassmen play uh, really shows her leadership skills and uh, how she, you know, kind of leads this team uh, along with their coaching staff. Dorland saw the first pitch go by for a ball. She'll swing and miss. Baker elevated the zone. You know, the amazing thing about Megan Perry hitting the home run, she lost the COVID year. You know, these That's seniors, exactly. you mm -hmm. know, were what, freshmen, I think, the COVID year? Where they have been? The seniors? Yeah. Have been sophomores? Would they been I'm, so? I'm not sure. Popped up for Dorlin, racing into the center fielder, and she'll put it away. Newcomers Town strikes twice. Canaton Valley still leads 6 3. Big Z Sports back after this. I'm Dr. Michele Aiono. At Advancing Athletics, our Fuel Move Recover philosophy can help anyone be their best. Here's what thriving looks like. I'm an FMR athlete. I'm an FMR athlete. I'm an FMR athlete. From high school to aging well, no one will take care of you and your kids better than us. Is your commercial roof leaking and causing damage, but you can't afford to fully replace your roof? WM Commercial Roofing believes in finding solutions that will work best to fit both your budget and your needs. We customize repair and maintenance plans that will fix your roof leaks and extend the life of your roof so that you can have peace of mind. WM Commercial Roofing, commercial roofing you can trust. Check us out at WMCommercialRoofing.com or call 330-275-0088. That's 330-275-0088. Country Club Rehabilitation Campus is a full continuum care facility located in Dover, Ohio. Their campus offers independent and assisted living apartments and suites, skilled nursing, seven days a week rehabilitation, respiratory care, and long-term care. The Country Club Campus provides excellent personalized treatment plans that meet or exceed their residents' outcomes and goals. If you are looking for a place to call home or just need short-term assistance, contact Country Club Rehabilitation Campus at Dover, 330-343-55. 568. Peters leads off the bottom of the fifth for Connaughton Valley, and she'll pop one up. Left side, center fielder, left fielder converging, and it's going to drop in between them to the warning track. Peters to second. She's going to go all the way to third. Throw is cut off there as she thought about rounding home. As I don't know what to award that one, Aaron, but it felt right in between the center fielder and left fielder. I think that win just taking advantage of it again. Well, it, it seemed like it was going right to the center fielder. Then all that thing just kept tailing and tailing and tailing. A little bit of panic set in there at the end, and uh, neither one of them, unfortunately, came up with it. And good news if you're the Rockets. Braun steps in. RBI single her last time up. Ball one. Yeah, kind of hard to practice uh, for these conditions. You know, you don't mind some wind, and you know, you realize you're going to have some breeze and stuff every game. But uh, this this one's a little excessive today, making it really difficult for uh, both teams in left field. Like uh, you know, we've seen several instances. You need those big like turbo fans to make the jet stream. <laughs> Temperature might be another thing. I'm not sure how you're going to accomplish that. Bronze sees strike one of this at bat. 
You know, they got everything else in this facility. <laughs> Might have some of those, too. I don't know. Maybe they do practice with them here. I don't know. Two one offering swung on and missed for Braun. Watson looking to sit her down. Delivered, foul to the screen. You're going to have to apologize to the listeners here pretty soon. Nose is starting to run right now. Uh -huh. might, might start hearing some sniffing. Uh, well, thus far, we haven't and, uh, seen our breath yeah. until <laughs> now. So that tells you where the temperature has gone. <laughs> Watson delivers. Braun gets into it. Left field popped up in between the shortstop and left fielder. It's going to drop, and it's another RBI single for the senior for Connaughton Valley. Again, another example of what the wind's done. Like you said, our left fielders are playing so deep, a lot deeper they normally play. She was playing back deep and uh, fell in front of her uh, that time around. So, In normal conditions, that's probably, I'm just going to guess, a pop-up to the shortstop. Could be. The wind's very inconsistent, but it looks like, judging by the top of the rocket center there with the exhaust from the... Uh, heaters in there you're it, it's it's still blowing <laughs> it's up that high strike called on Gallagher two RBI singles Gallagher back up at the plate her last time up grounded into a fielder's choice so poor Liddy is back there right now trying to hold tarp, run, <laughs> run communications. Wow. <laughs> I this just is not – this has been a day. <laughs> That's funny. And it was a bunt attempt there. Braun nearly gets oh. picked off as it looked like a bunt and run situation. Gallagher couldn't get the bat on it. Braun was thinking about taking off and had to scramble back. Good. Megan Perry, nice arm behind the plate right now. Another close play. Now it's my turn to do the sniffles, sorry. <laughs> Watson delivers. Just misses outside. Delivery from Watson, fouled away. Gallagher steps back in, now at two and two. Superintendent Zuckel over there picking up the foul ball. <laughs> Again, we had another spectator right there to catch it. And <laughs> made bad, had, thought, had, made the wise decision. Had, had very wise decision. Fouled left side. Coach Blinder <laughs> didn't even go <laughs> for it there. <laughs> I'm not even sure I'd have stuck my foot no. out. That, that, that what, thing connects on a foot. Well, oh, boy. You know in, like, the NBA, whenever you have a situation where there is a guy coming in for the posterization and the defender just steps out of the way, that's what we call the business decision, and I think that's what they're doing here, too. Uh, <laughs> so, excuse me. I'd like to be able to grip my steering wheel to go home after this game. <laughs> Watson delivers, fouled up again for Gallagher. Racing back for it is Perry, and she makes wow. a beautiful catch. Megan Perry tracked that one all the way, and even though it was trailing back towards the plate, somehow she was able to pull it in. Again, really difficult play. She did a nice job getting behind home plate, and that wind again brought it back towards the field. She did a complete 360 catch in that ball, and great concentration, great effort. So one out, Braun at first, Nielsen to the plate, single and a ground out for her. And she'll dribble it back up to Watson on the pitcher's mound. She'll deliver it across and will get Nielsen on the fielder's choice. And they're going to say, I think that they're going to want a conversation here 
Because they're actually the first base uh, coach is going to leave Nielsen at first because he's trying to say that first baseman for Newcomerstown's in the line and won't let their base runners actually get to the bag. Have to see what the conversation is. Truthfully, first baseman in Dorland, I haven't really, because of where we're sitting, I haven't seen her in the line, but I can't tell from here. Well, and it's going to be tough for the uh, the second official to make this because, again, the angle is going to be difficult for him as well. So now we're waiting for the call, and they are going to say out for Nielsen. So a ground out. Back to the top of the lineup, Daphne Stuber. Again, got the uh, varsity baseball game behind us. and uh, Dribbled on to first, and that will be out number three. <laughs> Daphne Stuber grounds out, and we had. <laughs> we'll give that update afterwards. <laughs> head to the top of the six. Big Z Sports is back after this. Powered by Purpose at Kent State University, Tuscarawas. Kent State Tusk offers over 30 bachelor's and associate degrees. We have over a dozen athletic programs, including basketball and volleyball. Student life is diverse with over 20 extracurricular student clubs. Our nursing and technology programs are some of the most sought after in the area. Staying local is the most cost-effective way of obtaining your degree. Define your own success. Powered by Purpose at Kent State University, Tuscarawas. Hi, this is Jan McInturf. The past 30 years, the residents in and around the Tuscarawas County have made the call to the realtors and staff of McInturf Realty for buying and selling their residential and commercial properties. We truly live in a great community, and in all of those communities, there is nothing better than high school sports. For myself and all the agents and staff at McInturf Realty, we would like to wish all the area athletes good luck this season. And make the call to McInturf Realty, 330-364-SOLD. Or find us online at McInturfRealty.net. Back to Bowerston, top of the sixth inning. Newcomerstown up at the plate. Leading things off, Barker. She has struck out both of her at-bats. And uh, as Aaron does some modification work for our tent here. <laughs> good good work for you, Aaron. Um, so first, I think this is the first game I've done all year where I've seen uh, both teams have a meeting with the officials or the umpires. Good now. Oh, good. <laughs> All warm again. It's <laughs> a <laughs> so 1 0 count to Barker. Popped up, right side. Braun goes back for it and makes the catch in foul territory, out number one. Watson, strikeout and a single for her. Yeah, we're trying to. Tell you the last half of the inning, looks like we got the varsity boys playing behind us, and uh, looks, looks like, like Newcomers Town just scored three in the top of the sixth. Six inning. So Connaughton Valley leads 4 3 behind us. Good game over there, too. Watson sees ball one. Baker's ready for the next delivery. She'll offer Watson. We'll see it catch the zone. 1-1. One, 7-3, one. your score. Top of the sixth. Newcomers Town running out of time. Trailing by four. For the Rockets, interesting observation. Have scored in every inning still. That's a good winning formula. I would say, especially when your first inning is three of them. <laughs> Baker offers. We'll catch that time. 2-2. Two -two. Oh, actually, 3-1. I got the hand motion wrong again. 
She has a very deceiving hand. Well, I the, will give you that. But that's she, usually a strike. The umpire, has, a lot of the umpire stopped saying strike. She yeah. just does the hand motion. <laughs> Baker's next delivery swung on and missed for Watson. She took a mighty hack. Count is full. Delivery in the dirt. It will be a walk issued. One out, one on. McConnell up to the plate. She walked her last time. And again, every so often throughout this game, Baker's had a little bit of control issues, uh, but again, has really done a nice job of digging herself out of the holes, getting some quality outs, and uh, keeping the Trojans off the bases. Baker went high with the rise ball. McConnell held back. That pitch up at your eye level does seem like the most tempting thing to go <laughs> after, but. It's the hardest thing to lay <laughs> off. Looks, as, as Adam says, it looks like a beach ball. Oh, the rain has returned, by the way. McConnell sees strike one. Did you notice that, Aaron? <laughs> Why not? For for a minute there, I thought you had officially lost it, but uh, yeah, you're right. Again, I gotta <laughs> gotta thank Adam for putting the ten up. Uh, might have saved a few lives tonight. <laughs> Two strikes now, to McConnell, and there's the win. <laughs> uh, Baker offers. McConnell sees strike three called on the outside corner, out number two. Morris up to the plate. I tell you what, I got to give Lydia and Claxton Communications a lot of props right now. This is uh, extremely tough weather to be working in right now. And Poor Lydia's working her tail off back there trying to make it happen. Again, appreciate everything they do for us. Morris swinging the miss on pitch one. Again, with that weather rolling back in, we're trying to fix the center field camera, make sure it's all good, so bear with us. Morris now behind 0-2. <laughs> Baker's 0-2 offering just misses the zone. <laughs> yeah, I can't help but laugh. I hear the rain on the tarp through our mm -hmm. headsets right now. Mm -hmm. Off speed from Baker, strike three. Morris sat down. We go on to the bottom of the sixth. Canaton Valley leads Newcomers Town 7-3. Big Z Sports is back after this. If you're planning a major concrete project, you need the help of Stocker Concrete Company. From precast concrete products to ready-mix concrete, sand, gravel, limestone, and concrete block, the professionals at Stocker Concrete can help you get started and keep you on the path to completion using the best materials you can find. Stocker Concrete is the concrete material provider you can count on. See them at 7574 Route 36, Janaden Hutton, or call 740-254-4626. In the rolling hills of Holmes County, we tend to do things a bit differently. At Kime, we're in the business of uncommon experiences, and we're here to care for your project like we care for our own. We believe that quality matters and want to help you get it right the first time, because your project deserves it. So visit Kime Home Center, your source and destination for all things home, building, and woodworking. Kime, built on trust since 1911. Back to Bowerston for the bottom of the sixth inning. Connaughton Valley up on Newcomers Town, 7-3 IVC softball, brought to you by the Tuscarawas Insurance Agency and Altman Hospital in a laser shot back up the middle from Chloe Stuber is going to be gloved by Watson. And delivered on to first. That probably didn't feel too good. She was going to catch that if she wanted to or not, wasn't she? <laughs> so did a nice job of uh, protecting herself. And 
Uh, I will add, if you're watching our stream right now, we are having to change up some things. Center field cam no longer available due to the weather. So we're going to be a little bit close on our shots from here on out, or it is what it is. <laughs> we appreciate okay. Glaxon Communications yeah. doing all they can. A absolutely. Again, battling this whole uh, this whole night and appreciate all their efforts. Baker ahead 1-0 in the count now. 2-0. Watson ready. Offers on the 2-0 inside. 3-0. Now I got to ask you, team's up by four. One of your best bats is ahead 3-0. You give her the green light? Uh, absolutely. Any, any chance uh, when you got your best headers, you know this meatball's coming down. It will be ball four. As Baker jogs on down to first, Maddie Kelly. Back in. Kelly, solo shot, two ground outs. So let me ask you something. Now that you watched a few games of Major League Baseball, how do you like the new rule changes? Um, truth be told, the bigger bases I do not have a problem with, especially if there is a safety aspect to this. Um, pitch clock I think is a little wonky, but I don't think it's a terrible idea. Just have to adjust to it. Banning the shift, don't like it at all. So there you go. Fair, two, fair. You, you went the whole range, didn't you? As Meatloaf said, two yeah. out of three ain't bad. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Perry's going to throw down to first. Will not get Baker. But it was a strike to Kelly. I bet a big fan of that pitch clock. Again, I, I think it's really sped up the game. I, I think that's really helped. Um, it, it's easier, I think, to watch a full game right now. And again, those guys, you know, taking their. There goes Baker. She's on her way to second. Throw goes down and actually hits Baker in the back, which might have helped Newcomerstown as they didn't have a a uh, defender there, and that held the ball from going to the outfield. Yeah, second baseman lost a little focus right there. Again, uh, it, it's <laughs> we talked about earlier, it, it's hard to keep your focus out there right now, and, and uh, unfortunately she lost her focus and uh, didn't get a, didn't give uh, Perry behind the plate a chance to throw her out. Delivery from Watson's low. And now a throw down to second from Perry, but there goes Baker. She's going to advance. As... Can't really count that as a stolen base. Baker was midway in between second and third. Perry decided to go back to second, hoping she was cutting back to second base. Instead, Baker just turned on the Jets to go to third. But she's got some nice speed in her. Again, we've seen that on display a couple times tonight. Kelly laces one to the shortstop, looking back the runner. Now she's going to throw home, and that's a nice play by Stahl, delivered on to Perry. And going to second, potentially, is Kelly. Now the runner's moving up from home. They're going to try to get her in a rundown. And the third baseman's actually going to hold the first baseman. So, or the runner on first, I should say. So it will be runners at the corners. Boy, for Connaughton Valley's base running, not bad. <laughs> Again, it's amazing how speed, you know, really influences the decisions of these infielders right now. And, uh, again, we've, like we just talked about, it's really, uh, really been a big difference tonight. I would imagine Kelly is going to be in motion. Watson delivers. Sure enough, there she goes. As it's a delay, she just does the delayed run. Perry delivered on down to third for Baker. Throw then <laughs> went to second. <laughs> that, that was a lot closer at second than it needed to be. It was. So like, Whoa. But they were just trying to get that run, run home. So now both runners in scoring position, one out. Williams gets a hold of that one to center. Center fielder going back. It's over her head. And it's over the wall. It's a ground rule double. Both runs will score. Two RBI double for Delilah Williams. Makes it 9-3 in favor of the Rockets. Get another quality timing hit. And uh, great, great connection and strong hit. And again, you hate harping on this, but again, another instance. That ball's just, just carrying. 
really affecting. Peters, who has been swinging a hot bat today, is in, fouls it off. Good, another. She was hit by a pitch and has a, actually has two triples. N another hard hit. Don't want to take anything away from the batters today, but that, that wind is just, I mean, it's. As it looks like we have gone final behind us for the Canaton Valley baseball team picking up four to three victory. If I'm not mistaken. Peters, ball one. Six innings? Well, no, that wouldn't be right unless they called it due to rain. I don't know. Not entirely sure. <laughs> Actually, now that I look at it. Foul back to Peters. That, 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 that's a good point, Aaron. That's uh, If I'm these girls right now, guys, get back on the field, go play. Go finish Let's your go. game. <laughs> hey. So it's a 1-2 count for Peters. As I had mentioned, she's technically two for two on the day. Hit by pitch, two triples. Is she going to go for the trifecta? Watson delivers low. Even 2-2. Two, two. I tell you what's kind of gotten funny is you can see a lot of the people have gone back to their cars in this uh, this rain right now, and about everyone's got their headlights on. It reminds <laughs> me of the old days uh, when you're a kid. You go, you know, the you, baseball you field, turn on the, the field headlights. Lights. Yeah. That one laced to center. Peters is going to get a single. Now throwing it home. Runner's going to round. Nice throw in. Peters will advance on the throw. So a single for the catcher for Canaton Valley. Runner holds up at third in Williams. Jordan Braun with her chance to get her third RBI of the day. Steps up to the plate. Two for three. Both singles. Both scoring runs. Another instance of just great contact, you know, by this Rocket team right now. Another, you know, hard, solid hit. Deliver from Watson. High delivery, I should say. I think my mouth's getting cold now. <laughs> Nine three, your score in favor of the Rockets. Braun, next offering to her out of the zone. Yeah, I got to give credit to several of these ladies on the Connaughton Valley team. They're not in the dugout, they're up against the fence cheering their uh, teammates on, screaming, and having a good time. And, uh, Again, uh, out in the elements. 3-0 count for Braun. Not only that, the amount of Connaughton Valley batters that don't wear gloves, That's <laughs> especially with this, uh, the damp and the cold is impressive. It's we had a lot of red cheeks uh, last week, a lot of red cheeks today. <laughs> uh, fortunately, heat and cold, it uh, looked the same. Braun pops it up, straight back. Perry looking for it, looking for it. Now coming in is the third baseman, McConnell, and she'll make the grab. Whew. Good. Mackenzie McConnell had a really solid game out in the field today. Uh, great, uh, great hustle there. You know, Perry, uh, again, trying to locate the ball, couldn't quite find it, and McConnell coming in and uh, saving the day there. Great hustle. If you have never stood there and had a ball fouled straight up above you and watching the spin on it and where it ends up, you do not know something difficult. <laughs> and, and you got the umpire there you're contending with. You, you still got the wind. You got the rain looking up. Uh, there, there's. It is very, very difficult. Watson's first pitch outside to Gallagher. Yeah, my bad. <laughs> the next delivery, swung on and missed. You know, I, I absolutely love being outside doing these games, but there's a lot to be said being in the gym sometimes, too. <laughs> a furnace. That's been, <laughs> something they said in that regard. Yeah. Watson's next delivery goes well well high. Yeah, there's, a, there's a few gyms we've been into. Man, it is hot when we sit up really high. It is hot up here. New Philadelphia That's, comes to uh, mind. I, uh, I wouldn't mind being in one of those gyms right now, so. <laughs> Anybody watching or listening right now is going, oh, you big babies. Yes, that's uh, Watson 
her next offering fouled off by Gallagher. You know, we are, yeah, you, you could say we are, just because these ladies out here are out here finishing this game. No complaints from them. Going out and getting the job done. Impressive stuff. There's a lot of pitchers who almost will adamantly review the sleeves because they say it affects their pitching. Both Baker and Watson have opted to go for the sleeves, and I do not blame them. Delivery. Lace to left. Gallagher. It's deep. Gallagher. Going back for it's the left fielder, and she'll make the grab. Nice play for Newcomers Town. As we will now head on to the bottom of the sixth. Rockets up 9 3. Big C Sports back after this. The certified public accountants at Needenthal & Company believe in the value of relationships. Needenthal & Company has been in business for over 50 years in your community, helping individuals and businesses grow. Needenthal & Company can help manage and prepare your payroll, plan your estate, and prepare your business and personal income taxes. Stop in to the Needenthal facility on North Wooster Avenue in Dover and become a valued client today. Back to Bowerston, Newcomerstown. One final chance, top of the seventh inning here, to claw their way back into this. After I misspoke, I said bottom of the sixth. <laughs> Nine to three, the lead for the Rockets over the Trojans. Macy Baker still out there on the bump for Connaughton Valley, leading things off. It will be the top of the order for Newcomerstown in Stall. Stall in this game. Walk, stolen base, a strikeout, and flew out to right her last time. And again, we've, we've seen Baker, you know, getting some troubles with her pitches, a few walks uh, here and there throughout the game. And uh, if you're a newcomer's town, again, you got uh, three outs right now and concentrate on what's in front of you, one hit at a time, and uh, try to get some runs across the plate. As it wasn't, we, we should clarify from the last inning, Newcomers Town, or excuse me, Canton Valley Baseball does pick up the 4-3 to three win over Newcomers Town. They did go all seven, they, just for some reason the scoreboard, scoreboard only says six it did, the, the scoreboard lied to us, but uh, <laughs> we, we did check with some of the gentlemen, and they, they did confirm they did go a full <laughs> seven innings. So uh, we, we want to apologize uh, for calling the boys wimps, but uh, no, they <laughs> – Well, we uh, didn't. We, you did. <laughs> yeah, but you agreed. <laughs> <laughs> Still, I don't know what you're talking about. Baker offers to still <laughs> off-speed pitch. Not going to quite catch the zone. <laughs> Baker steps back up, toes the rubber, and will offer. Swung on and missed for Stull. Couldn't catch up to it. 1-1 one, one the count. Again, Baker with a nice, solid pitch right there. Again, up, up in the zone a little bit, and hard to lay off like you talked about earlier, and, and uh, great velocity still in the uh, seventh inning. Baker delivers low. 2-1 count. <laughs> Catcher's asking, hey, we need we need a dry ball here in the official. <laughs> like, I don't, I don't have any dry balls. On it. Just, yeah, it's, they need those little, um, <laughs> I know this is not what they are, but they're like the easy bake ovens for baseball <laughs> yeah. where they put them in. The, you know. <laughs> Pretty sweet if you were a pitcher right now, too. If Nice pitch. Oof. Just outside, 3-1. Um, that'd be really nice if you were a pitcher right now. Can you imagine if you had those that they put them Oof. in there to dry them Jeez. off? You grab a hold of it nice and warm. Dude. Pitcher, let's go. He'd no, be, not yet. That's your just. He'd be <laughs> asking for around. a new ball every other pitch. <laughs> uh, I need another ball. This one's slipping. This one's ass. Uh, something's yeah, wrong with this, this one. <laughs> Baker delivers. Stall elevates the hands, fouls it back. <laughs> what did you teach me tonight? Headache. That's yeah, right headache. There. headache. That was the boys. That's baseball team over there <laughs> at the concession stand. 
Nobody went for the ball, and somebody close here in the stands yelled, it. Hey! and everyone whips. See, that's the problem. You yell heads up or something, people yeah. look up. Yell headache, that's people cover their heads, so you're good. They do the same thing in golf when you yell four. <laughs> Everybody wants to know where the ball came from. Full count, fouled off by stall back over our heads. We'll do it again. Yell four, everybody looks back, like, where's the <laughs> ball at? Uh, no, I hear four, I'm looking for the golf cart, and I'm ducking inside <laughs> and hoping it's not has doesn't have a weird angle when yeah. it's coming in. You just hope I'm not behind you playing. <laughs> <laughs> Can't be any worse than me. Three twos the count. <laughs> Baker delivers. Stahl fights it off again. Good at bat thus far for the sophomore shortstop for the Trojans. As trying to get a clean ball again. <laughs> All I can say with given the rain and everything, good luck. 9-3. Connaughton Valley leads. Final at bats for Newcomers Town. Stahl's doing a nice job. Sticking with it, and she'll foul tip it again. It's in the glove, though, of Peters. It's out number one. Did a really nice job holding on to there, getting a getting a big out for the Rockets. Kellish, three walks. So we'll see if she actually registers her first official at bat. <laughs> like I said earlier, it doesn't matter how you get on base, as long as she's gotten on base every time, that's that's awesome. She has come around to score twice. Watches the first one outside. Must be the hoodie that she's wearing. <laughs> <laughs> Remember I said yes. in the first inning, yeah. Kellish asked the umpire if she was See? okay to wear that hoodie because as long as you get a hit, well. See, I was paying attention times, to you. Yeah. Did he, he, he I'm, it, I, am, I am stunned by that. That's, I don't blame you. Baker delivers. <laughs> Kellish rips at it. Can't make contact. I got to give the uh, – the baseball team props here for Newcomers Town. They're still hanging around here, watching the girls out in the rain right well, now. Did they both? I think they both rode the team yep. bus over here. Yep. So, yeah, they didn't go running into the bus. They didn't. Well, they did good. Run for shelter, standing out here supporting a fellow Trojans team. Good to see. What I really want to know is where the bus is. The bus driver out here supporting them. They like us. Uh, the bus driver starting the bus. Bus driver starting the bus. Did they? As you okay, said that right. actually. <laughs> <laughs> Delivers, catches the zone two two. You know, again, just want to give a shout out to uh, you know everybody that that it takes to put on these Ohio High School Athletic Association events. I mean, from the ads, from bus drivers. You know, you got coaches that put tons of hours in, kids that put tons of hours in. You got volunteers in the concession stand. You, you got booster clubs. It's amazing how much of a community it takes to really put a good sports uh, program together. And uh, again, just want to give a special shout out to all those people behind the scenes that you never see. And mm -hmm. again, give these give these young uh, men and women an opportunity to play high school athletics and. Uh, really learn a lot about life and uh, all the valuable lessons uh, sports uh, gives these kids. 2-2 Two -two from Baker. Kellish sees strike three. She gets sat down for the first time today. And Mackenzie McConnell represents the final out for Newcomers Town. She has had a double and a triple, two RBIs. Looking to keep the game alive for the Trojans. And again, just want to give a shout out to all the Connaughton Valley uh, athletic staff here for making us feel at home day again. Beautiful facilities here and uh, very, very appreciative of everything they do for us. We are very, very appreciative. I thought you were going to ask for a space heater. But that's, well, you know, if, if Adam would have came through big time, that, that would have been <laughs> it. That's, that's, that's the next step, Adam. It's an 0-1 so. count to McConnell as Baker was awarded the top of the zone. You might have heard the Newcomers Town baseball team not in agreement with that in the background. <laughs> Next delivery on the corner. Connell behind 0-2. Down to their final strike. Cotton Valley looking to pick up another IVC win. 
And McConnell thought it was a 1-1 count, I guess. Now she just found out it's an 0-2. She was asking the umpire. She asked for 1-1, but no. <laughs> That's... Baker delivers just a bit high. <laughs> I wasn't expecting to get a lot of the heckling section. From yeah, the <laughs> they, they, I've never seen an entire uh, boys baseball team get thrown out of a softball game. But yeah. Next delivery is yeah, a... going to be outside. <laughs> Gotta love them. Gotta, uh, that's awesome. 2-2. Two, two. McConnell's battled back to make it even. I don't think, I think only if you get thrown out of your own sports game that you get suspended for a game the next one. I don't think it's, it counts for. <laughs> look that up in the rule book. McConnell pops uh -oh. it up right behind us. Almost Ooh, on us. That was close. 2-2. <laughs> two, two. Oh. <laughs> Should have stuck my hand out. I could have had that. I think your hands, you might have shattered your hand yeah. because it's probably frozen at this point. Kind of disappointed. You didn't let that hit me, would you? You didn't even help me. What do you want me to do about it? <laughs> <laughs> I just stood here and realized I'm the idiot who's standing under this <laughs> tent, so if it's coming, it's hitting me in the head. <laughs> Baker readies for the 2 2. Delivery. McConnell laces it up over the shortstop's head, and there's still life in the Trojans as it's a two out single. How about McConnell Day? Single, double, and a triple, and two RBIs. Tell you what, again, pitch high up in the eyes, and one of those hard to lay off. But, man, she, she did a nice job battling, connecting, and uh, on base again. Megan Perry steps in. Last time up, a sacrifice fly. Got the RBI as she drove in McConnell. Perry, as we mentioned earlier innings, now owns the career home run record for Newcomerstown softball. You know how much she would love to add on to it again as she's behind that on that cut. Well, like you talked earlier, you know, it's, it's amazing these seniors this year in softball and baseball that are breaking these records. Again, they didn't have their COVID year, and uh, they're doing that with one less year. So for, for those kids who have broken, you know, stealing records, home run records, whatever, um, again, congratulations. and. Uh, you know, well done on a, a three-year career and instead of, an, unfortunately, a four-year career. Perry was behind it again. She's down to her last strike. Baker, ready for the 0-2. And the pitch. Off speed, outside. It is still funny watching that umpire give her ball motion. And point, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, no, no, it's not a. Both pitchers, both Baker and Watson, have missed the outside today. It has not been by much. Yes. He's... And again, that's what makes Baker so tough right now. She's got that good velocity. Swung on and missed as Baker will sit down Perry. That does it from Bowerston, 9 to 3. Connaughton Valley picks up the victory over Newcomerstown. Macy Baker goes the distance. We'll get the win for the Rockets. RBIs all across the place for Connaughton Valley. We'll go ahead and total up some final stats in return for our kind postgame show. And, of course, bring you your Mackin Turf Realty player of the game. Big Z Sports is back after this. People are always asking, what is Cartoons? I hear that name on the radio all the time. Cartoons is a radio shop in New Philadelphia that specializes in tuning up your stereo system on anything you drive or ride. We tune up car tunes, truck tunes, boat tunes, motorcycle tunes, RV tunes, new and used vehicle tunes. We carry the best brands from Kenwood, Sony, Alpine, Pioneer, just to name a few. Cartoons also carries a full line of lighting accessories, backup camera systems, remote starts, or just need it installed? Give us a call. Cartoons on West High Avenue in New Philly, be there. We are Claymont High School students. 
Teenagers love a party, especially during prom and graduation season. Often alcohol is involved. Some parents think that hosting a teen drinking party in their home will keep the kids out of trouble. While their attentions are good, it's illegal, unsafe, and unhealthy for anyone under the age of 21 to drink alcohol. Did you know parents who host lose the most? Here are the facts. If you make alcohol available at teen parties, you can be prosecuted. This message brought to you by Claymont High School students, Empower Tusk, and the Adams Board of Tuscarawas and Carroll Counties. Hi, I'm Zach Motais with the Tuscross Insurance Agency. For all your auto, home, farm, and business insurance needs, contact our team at the Tuscross Insurance Agency or stop in and see us at one of our three locations in Sugar Creek, Strasburg, and downtown New Philadelphia, providing excellent service to the Tuscross Valley since 1885. Everyone here at the Tuscross Insurance Agency would like to wish all area athletes and teams good luck. When struggles seem too tough, when sickness takes a hold, when cancer picks a fight, when baby's on its way, when life throws you a curveball, we've got you. With nearly 130 years in your backyard, Altman knows you and knows your community better than anyone. We're your neighbors, your friends, your family, and we want you to be the healthiest you can be. Altman, we are ready. We've got you. Wood Electric has been trusted with all of your electrical needs for over 30 years. They are the place to call for residential, commercial, and industrial work. Wood Electric is available 24 hours a day and ready to help with any electrical problem, outage, or installation. Wood Electric, serving Tuscarawas County and beyond since 1988. Like Wood Electric on Facebook or find them online at woodelectric.net. PAC Drilling, a family-owned and operated company since 2005 in Bolivar, takes pride in being an economic oil and gas drilling company. PAC's objective is to contribute to American energy independence through profitable development, operation, and marketing of oil and natural gas wells. PAC also employs operating technicians to oversee each and every well drilled to maximize its productivity and longevity. Contact PAC Drilling at PackDrilling.com. Planning your next vacation or home improvement project and worried about managing expenses? CSB can help with that. Setting a goal is the first step to achieving your vision, and CSB's Money Manager tool helps you get started. Whether you are recovering from Christmas spending or preparing to send kids to college, the Personal Financial Management tool helps you set goals, track your spending, and monitor your progress. Money Manager is available within CSB's online banking. Check it out today, the Commercial and Savings Bank member FDIC. Welcome back to Bowerston one final time for the Kime post-game show. Canaton Valley picks up the 9-3 win over Newcomers Town. Now joining us from Rack and Turf Realty, player of the game, pitcher for Canaton Valley, Macy Baker. And Macy, you know, 14 strikeouts, quite the number you've got up there. I know you uh, are known for getting a lot of punch outs in a game, but despite the weather conditions, that had to feel pretty good. Yeah, So. Definitely. Tell me a little bit how you responded, though, to that. Obviously, you knew coming into this it was going to be windy, cold, and, and right. wet, naturally. So I just have to work on hitting my spots despite the cold, but my coach really helps me a lot with that. So. And you guys are really rolling. This is your 14th win, I think, yep. so far this year, so uh, I'm sure you guys have to be feeling pretty good. Oh, yeah. Feels good. Now, obviously, I know the next time you come out here, you're going to hope for a little bit uh, less rain. Yeah, right? definitely. <laughs> And also, uh, how much easier does it make it for you guys, or for you specifically on the mound, when you've got your uh, team hitting as well as you guys did today? It feels amazing. I feel like I have everything to back me up, and I can just do what I do on the mound. Awesome. Well, we're going to go ahead and let you go and let you go and warm up. Again, our McInturf Realty player of the game, Macy Baker, 14 strikeouts for her today in the 9-3 to victory over the Newcomers Town Tro Tro Trojans. Thank congratulations again, Macy, and that will wrap up today's broadcast of high school softball brought to you by the Tuscarawas Insurance Agency and Altman Hospital. Nick McWilliams for Aaron Stump and Claxon Communications. So long, Z-Country. Thanks for listening to Big Z Sports. Tonight's game was presented by the Tuscarawas Insurance Agency, Altman Hospital, Wood Electric, Advancing Athletics, PAC Drilling, the Commercial and Savings Banks, 
WM Commercial Roofing, Country Club Retirement Campus, Kent State Tuscarawas, and McInturf Realty. Follow Big Z Sports on Facebook, on Twitter at Big underscore Z Sports, and on Instagram. For the best coverage of high school sports, there is only one Big Z Sports.